I started this whole BattleBots prototype project roughly a year ago. Relative to other things, I'd say I've barely even worked on it since then. Despite that, I've still done some prototyping, and if I move efficiently enough through this, I should still be on track to applying for Season 7 of BattleBots with a 250 pound design. Mark II is roughly half the size of a 250 pound BattleBot. It's a fully functional 3D printed modular design with many improvements over Mark I. It also expands on the aesthetics of Doom with the black and red color scheme and the brand new outer shell. The bot features a hammer saw weapon on a four wheel drive topped with a mosaic of angled armor plating. The four wheel drive is powered by a single geared brush motor on either side. Each of these motors is controlled by a quick run 1060 speed controller. And although one of the speed controllers was working just fine, the other had issues. I tried everything I could think of to diagnose the problem and even added some capacitors to the damn thing, but it just didn't work. Enter the brushless drive. To be honest, I wasn't expecting much. I knew what the problems were and exactly how to fix them, but the drive simply isn't very important to me in this stage, so I switched my focus to the weapon system. This is the servo setup I had for the weapon arm. I used a 35kg torque servo and reduced its torque with a 4 to 1 gear ratio for more speed. But once having seen it in action, I saw that might not have been necessary at all. This setup may make for a decent speedy low power 180 degree actuator, however it isn't anywhere near powerful enough to handle the full weight of the arm. Which brings me to the next issue, the arm. The 20,000 RPM weapon motor was absolutely overkill, the heavy duty V-belt was absolutely overkill, and the 3D printed PLA was absolutely not strong enough to handle either of them. It was a total mess, but this is why prototyping exists. So now, what do I do? Well, over time I've accumulated many ideas about how to make my BattleBot design better. One of my favorites being the use of an oscillation linkage. I've actually already used the type of oscillation linkage in another robot I built in order to limit the movement of the arm without having to manipulate the motor's direction. This provides for a highly reliable, safe, and simple system. I tried to make my own linkage and it looks like it would work, but it actually doesn't. So after some quick research, I came up with the following. So the arm oscillates great, however it still isn't quite powerful enough. But not to worry, I do have a plan that involves the same 20,000 RPM motor that destroyed the last weapon system. But before I get to that, I want to see if I can successfully spin up this damn weapon already.
doors I haven't opened and windows I've yet to look through. Going forward may not be the answer. Maybe I should go back. Mm -hmm.